Cornelia Audrey here for FTD Facts, the channel where we talk about everything you can imagine. And today we are going to look at how getting pregnant actually works. Now, I have a very special announcement for all of you. I wanted to wait to tell the whole YouTube community at the same time. I'm pregnant! I'm so excited. I just found out a week ago I'm gonna be having a baby and I can't wait. So today I'm gonna find out myself and share with all of you how getting pregnant actually works. You've all heard the stork story. The baby is flown down in a stork's basket, delivered to the parent's doorstep, and there you have it, a child waiting at your door all cute and ready for you. Why do people tell kids the story? Why do they think that's okay to tell them that a bird brings a baby to a parent's doorstep and that's how babies are made? Come on, you gotta talk about the birds and the bees, it's very important. So I'm gonna do that for you. Feel free to share this video with your kids. Let's start with the basics. In order for a woman to have a baby and we all know only women can have babies unless something is going on with the men out there that they have them but I don't think that ever happens plain and simple a man and a woman need to have sex Sex is the first step to baby making. Okay, so first of all, a bit of a woman's makeup for you. Women have ovaries, which are located in the abdomen, uh, just below the belly button on either side where her hip bones are. In those ovaries, women are born with over one to two million eggs. So a woman has these eggs at the very beginning of her life and they just start dying off right away. There's no reproduction of eggs. So by the time a woman is 45 to 55, depending on you know the person, she'll be going through menopause, she'll have no more eggs left. So a woman has all of these eggs and once they're matured they are released down through the fallopian tubes ready to be impregnated by a sperm. That is where the man comes in. Technically as long as some form of sperm gets to an egg and impregnates a woman you can have a baby. So you know there's like sperm donor clinics, uh, there's a lot of different ways that it can happen without actual penetration. So let's say the egg was not fertilized by a sperm. Maybe the woman's not having sex or she's on some form of birth control. That's a whole other episode. Then the egg starts to dissolve and it's absorbed by the body. When pregnancy does not occur, the body stops producing estrogen and progesterone. Those are hormones that actually help foster pregnancy in a woman's body. Once those eggs are dissolved, the uterus lining is thickened and that's all shedded out through a woman's period that happens every month. So. Fun fact, men are not born with all of their sperm like women are with their eggs. Men's bodies are constantly at work producing microscopic little sperms all the time whose sole purpose are to penetrate and impregnate an egg. No wonder men love sex so much makes sense now. The average sperm only lasts a few weeks within a man's body and apparently like millions are released when a man ejaculates. That's a lot of tiny sperm that come out in one go. From start to finish it takes 64 to 72 days for a sperm to be created. Sperm are stored in the part of the testicles called the epididymis before mixing with semen prior to ejaculation. Even with all of those sperms coming out during ejaculation it actually only takes one sperm to impregnate an egg and make a baby. That's even the case with twins. Wow, those tiny little sperms are awfully powerful. Impressed. Manpower, yeah. The gender of the baby depends on the type of sperm that burrows into the egg. Sperm with a Y chromosome makes a boy and sperm with an X chromosome makes a girl. So I've just given you a ton of information about men and women and sperm and eggs and how much is ejaculated at once and how it all happens. But I hope now you have a bit more of a better idea as to how babies are actually made. On my note about having a baby, fooled you kidding I'm not actually pregnant thank god I do not want children at least right now I don't think I'm mature enough to have a little baby hey this is FTD facts not FTD fiction Cornelia oh sorry guys looks like I'm in trouble <laughs> see you later <laughs>